All right, soul family. So soul contracts is nothing but a whole excuse of a scam that narcissistic deram alien slave owners use to take control of other individuals' life. Imagine this. Someone treats you like shit, like dirt. I won't even say dirt because dirt actually comes from the earth to grow seeds and plants. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say someone treating you like you're nothing, like you don't exist. Being on and off with you. You know, these narcissists, aka slave owners, they use this soul contract thing as an excuse to always control individuals' life, to make sure that you don't walk in your own power. It's the same thing as reflection, the reflection religion that's so heavily upon used in, in false indoctrinated spiritualities to hijack and lowjack another individual's body. Like me, I walk in my own power. I don't do no fucking contracts. Because hearing the thing about soul contract is like selling my fucking soul. Selling my goddamn soul to a D-room alien slave owner. Think about the word soul contract. That's the same shit as motherfuckers joining the fucking um, Hollywood industry and they writing their name in blood. Like me, I control my own life. I control my own avatar. My mind, heart, and soul is my power to control. No slave owner is going to control that shit. So I ain't about to hear shit about a soul contract. You know, because so if someone has ever had the audacity to talk shit behind my back and had the audacity to be on and off with me and giving me false hope that things are going to work out and it's a disappointment. I'm not going for that. I have control of my own life. If I choose to go for something much better that's elevating a more soulful frequency, I will do that. I'm not going to live by no fucking soul contract that a narcissistic deram alien slave owner created. I'm not doing that shit. It's just like, this how you know the soul contract is a fucking cheapskate scam of an excuse that narcissists created to take control of someone's life. Okay, let's say let's say your job is treating you like shit, right? Your job is treating you like you're nothing. Your job is treating you like you ain't nothing. You going to stay at that job that's treating you like nothing or you just going to go get something better. You're going to get something better. You're not going to stay at that. So you have control of your own life. If, if I could tell someone to walk in their own power, think for themselves, that would be dumb to the fullest match to tell somebody they're under a contract. Being under a contract is like fucking obeying somebody, being a damn fucking puppet, a goddamn slave. Do you know what the word contract means? Being controlled. Now, I'm ready for any fucking fake ass narcissistic ass, toxic ass slave owner to try to attack me and try to slander me for questioning this type of shit. Man, I'm telling this too. Even a person, an individual who has drunk a lot of dang sodas, even an individual who drunk a lot of soda, drunk a lot of liquor, would they was even they would still not be able to deny this shit. You got so many fake ass spiritual motherfuckers who go to the extreme, always bringing soul contracts and shit. Well, if someone's they, the same motherfuckers who will tell you if someone's treating you like you're nothing, go for better because you have so much a great soul, a great soul family essence to come to you that's gonna love you for you. But then gonna be the same motherfuckers turn around telling somebody, well, you're under a soul contract, so. Stick with the suffering much longer. Like, no motherfucker. I ain't sticking with no motherfucker suffering. You see what I'm saying? We ain't doing none of that shit over here. Because I'm going to tell... I'm a, I tell every single being that's of my aura. Okay, someone is being on and off with you. You have the power to cut it off. You have the power to move to something more of a soulful, elevating frequency. You don't got to deal with these soulless, empty, vibrational frequency beings and obey some fucking soul contract because the word soul contract means sell your mother 
fucking soul. And we and we know real intelligently and emotionally advanced individuals ain't gonna fucking live by no fucking soul contract. Now I'm ready for any motherfucker to try to come at me on this fake spiritual shit about well let me let me tell you this, you know what I'm saying? All the all the all the um narcissists are a reflection of you. No, they are not, motherfucker. These demon room alien slave owners, they not a reflection of me. Because when I look at the mirror, I see myself. I have control over my own powers. No one can operate my fucking avatar. No one can use my mind, heart, and soul. I Only I can do that. And this soul contract is bullshit. It's bullshit. I dare any fake-ass motherfucker to try to come question me. I dare any motherfucker try to come question me on this shit. I will shut your ass down. That you know what? I wish YouTube. I wish YouTube had a voice note in a comment session instead of having to write stuff out in paragraphs. When you got these troll ass fake spiritual motherfuckers that are sociopaths and psychopaths who get mad at soulful or beings like me who question everything. Because I went far made, making videos about how reflection is a religion made by narcissistic slave owners. Just how I'm doing it right now. Soul contract is a fucking narcissistic ass religion to make you stick to something that is going to hurt you for a long time if you choose to let these motherfuckers control you. Like, when you think of contract, that means fucking control. Being controlled like a puppet. If I sign if I sign my name in blood to some slave owners to make music the way they want want it to be made, um, tell people some shit at a damn politician event of what the masses have to hear of what the slave owner tell me to tell them. I'm not doing that shit. So soul contract ain't no different from any other contract that you fucking sign. You know, so anything that has a control over you, oh, anything that has some form of control of your life, it's unhealthy. You ever heard a thing called heal thyself, heal thyself? You are under no body's fucking soul contract. You can control your own life. <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you that you can't control your own life. That's why I, that's why I question the soul contract thing. I ain't drunk no liquor. I ain't smoked no cigarettes. I ain't drunk no Hennessy, no Patron. You know I'm fucking speaking facts. I mean, it's one thing for individuals to question Christianity and all that shit, but the soul contracts and this reflection bullshit that these fake-ass spiritual people be talking about all day... They ain't nothing but slave owners. So, like, I'm telling you all, it's on the internet, man. And off the internet, you you seeing these, you seeing these uh fake ass spiritual motherfuckers talking about, well, you're under a soul contract. You know, even though somebody's treating you wrong, you gotta go through a soul contract. Well, no, you don't. If you desire better, you can do that right now. You can you can flip the switch. You can flip the switch on any toxic, empty vibrational being is doing to you and go towards these soulful or emotionally available, intelligent or individuals. Individuals. You see what I'm saying? That soul contract, I don't do that shit over here. You see me, I question everything. I walk in my own power. I may not look intelligent. But I'm more in tune than these uh, so-called spiritualists out here who just fucking mislead motherfuckers just so they can continue to deal with a lot of hurt in their lives by putting up with these narcissists. The things like reflection religion and the soul contract religion that was designed by these slave owners is the reason why a lot of the human extraterrestrials don't even, don't even strive to walk in their own power. You see what I'm saying? You see, I go to extra bow and question things. That's how you know I'm really intelligent. I ain't a false intelligent being. My IQ is always growing. I don't stay complacent in the way of thinking. 
You see? Now, I'm going to tell you this. This type of video that I'm making, saying that soul contract is nothing but what narcissists created, you know, the Demon Alien Slave owners would try to make that video uh, be shadow banned and not try to reach the masses. But you know what? Let them try to keep shadow banning my shit. Because I always speak real deep metamorphosis, literal jewels taught for your all seeing my heart and soul eye. So, I dare any fake ass motherfucker try to challenge me on this shit. Because they can't. They know. They comprehend that as the real deal. Because it's coming from within. I speak from the mind, heart, and soul. I don't speak from no indoctrinated source. I don't speak no... No false spiritual shit from a book that was made by some slave owners. These narcissists, what I call slave owners. These slave owners ain't what you really think. They ain't no fucking Caucasoid humans. They are fucking Draconians and fucking Men in Black or Maserex or the Baha'i's. So, this soul contract shit... Don't buy into that shit because the first time I was told about this shit, my intuition didn't sit right with that motherfucking shit. I knew something was wrong with it. I knew something was up with it. Even a child, even a newborn child that is intelligently and emotionally advanced, they will say the same thing I am saying too because, you know, um, a lot of the so-called chosen ones, their intuition is strong. Any individual's intuition that's so damn strong, they will tell you that the soul contract stuff is nothing but an excuse that narcissists made up to always keep hold of individuals hostage to keep draining their fucking energy. Just so they can fill themselves up and try to drain a soulful being's energy. I broke that stuff down and there's as to it. There's no buts, ands, if about it. And it cannot be fucking challenged because... I question things and I break some shit down to the core that these so-called spiritualists on planet Earth that be on this astrology shit, they never even thought about this shit. All these people that's in astrology, they never even dare question that reflection is a religion made by narcissists. So the narcissists can fucking claim themselves as a soulful being so they can lowjack and hijack a, a person's body. Or... This whole thing about soul contract. You know, if I always tell a lot of soul family, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. If if something, if someone is not treating you in a soulful frequency, you can move on from that shit. You are under no fucking contract. So don't let no fucking narcissistic slave owner tell you where well, you're in a soul contract. Because narcissistic slave owners like these draconians and shit, they can shapeshift into these fake ass spiritual motherfuckers and try to mislead you. And I'm here to let you know that that soul contract shit designed by these slave owners is misleading as fuck. So don't have your head in your ass and don't let this shit go out the other ear. But it's not going to go out the other ear because I make sure this shit is still within you. So, that's pretty much all I got to say right now. And if anybody dare challenge this video, you a fake-ass motherfucker. That's all I got to say. The real intelligent, soulful orb beings is going to ride with me on this video. Saying soul contracts is a fucking slave owner narcissistic control. Because we, we, we have control of our own lives. If you can think for yourself... If you could think for yourself, you're under no contract. If someone try to put you under a contract, saying you're under a soul contract, they're trying to control you with that fucking religion shit. They ain't, man, soul contract is religion within itself. A form of control, not allowing you to be free to walk in your own power, divine power, true power of your all seeing my heart and soul eye. So think about what I said. Replay what I said. Because this is an eternal message that's going to stick with the damn angel number multiverses.